Okay, this is the uh, introduction video for the uh, great campaigns of the American Civil War. Uh, this is the Roads to Gettysburg 2, the Roads to Gettysburg campaign, full campaign. Uh, the 18 turns, or 18 days, it's the same thing. Um, As is with a lot of these games, there's lots of little scenario rules, which is a bit of a warning for some people who don't like fiddly scenario rules, but you've got to have them in a game like this, otherwise you're not going to be able to reproduce anything, even vaguely historical. I would subscribe things as certain units can't move or, or activate before certain turns. You see these little turn markers here. There are things where these dice are that you can't activate these units until the third increment of the Army of the Potomac arrives on the map. Um, the Army of the Potomac's all over there and they come on as variable reinforcements. Uh, you've got other units where Confederates aren't allowed to enter these uh, counties where I think counties is the right word for them I don't know not in, maybe not in America um, for the first three turns you've also got other units up the top here which can't move for five turns you've got certain units that confederacy they get a, a plus two dice to their movement uh, well it's a yeah, it's a plus, plus two for infantry movement, so it'd be uh, uh, plus three for cavalry movement, I assume. Um, one thing I've looked at this game, I went online to do reading up some stuff. Uh, there's lots of tutorials online, but they all seem to be Vassal based and they're spending a huge amount of time going over Vassal and what the Vassal module does, which is completely irrelevant if you're trying to play this. As a board game so I will be doing some tutorials uh, as I'm going through this and learning relearning the system it's a system I've messed around with but I've never really seriously done much with it because uh, I always get distracted by something else but I have actually got every single module the only one I was missing was Hood Strikes North uh, which is due to arrive in a couple of days um, as you know from me stating I've got all the modules uh, some of them are extremely rare uh, and very expensive uh, like I've got a road to Richmond which is you just can't get that for love and money I've even got the uh, uh, a copy of um, Stonewall Jackson's stuff but uh, they did a reprint of that recently, so that's available now, but that was a nightmare to get hold of as well. Um, so that's one thing. If you're thinking about getting into this system, you're going to find some of the games impossible to get or very difficult to get. Okay, the only thing I'd say about the latest one, the Hood one, is it's very expensive considering it's a one-map game. The two counter sheets. I don't know how they can justify selling that for 90 quid. Um, well, that's another thing it was worth thinking about as well. Okay, 